Told him that I would be classic from all of my classes, passed them over the masses. Don't know my mass. A shot from earlier as the Miami team bus arrived at the arena. The players gearing up for a tough contest away from home. So much activity in Canada's largest city, Toronto, a world class location for tonight's broadcast. Welcome to another Groundhog Day NBA game. Shadows or not, it's time to get it going. Alongside Grant Hill and Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, our reporter, I'm Brian Anderson. Let's see the stat sheet here for Bam Adebayo. And when you look at his rebounding numbers, I think the season is starting to wear him down a little bit. His numbers there have dipped over this month, but I'm sure he'll catch a much needed second win soon. And we have a minute to catch up with our reporter. What do you have for us, Allie? VA, the Raptors are just happy to be back playing in Toronto, Ontario. Last season, pandemic safety measures forced them to play in Tampa. Of course, before that, they were in the bubble in Orlando. As warm a welcome as they got in Florida, there is no place like home. And these terrific fans miss them too, Allie. Thanks. And tonight, two established veteran teams, Smitty. You'd fit right in out there. Yeah, veterans play the game with their mind versus their physicality and athleticism. You can win games just having a high basketball IQ. So a look at our starters for the Heat. Manning the backcourt, it's Lowry and Robinson. 
At the forward slots, Butler and Tucker. And it's Adebayo in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Toronto, Van Vliet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots. Barnes is down low with Siakam. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward. Stolen by Siakam. And Siakam with the slam. Beautiful when the big man takes flight. Pascal Siakam leaving no room for air with that dunk. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Adebayo. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. And now the Raptors on the break. Here's Siakam. And Siakam with the slam. That break coming off the turnover forced by OG. Great anticipation. OG and Ananobi with the assist. Robinson against Trent. Lowry drawing the double team. Here's Adebayo. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. And early on, if you're him, you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into some kind of rhythm. Lowry against Van Vliet. 11 feet out. And it's off the back of the rim. No good for Toronto. They've gone two of three to get this one going. Here's Ananobi. Adebayo grabs the board. And it's Miami's ball. Knocks it loose. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Lowry, the pass to Robinson. The Heat rebound. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. Three-pointer Van Vliet. And he buries his first look. Love how Van Vliet has extended his range over the years. Not everyone can do that to that extent. Here he goes. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Van Vliet's got his second bucket on the night. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for Toronto. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. I also like what they've done on the fast break in their first half tonight. They're taking it to them. Proven he has the touch from mid-range. Bam Adebayo showing you another dimension of his game. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Lowry drawing the double team. Outside Butler. For three, Robinson. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Robinson's got five points. Selfless pass by Butler. He's always ready to put the team's success ahead of his own. By Adebayo. Lowry against Trent. Here's Robinson. Comes up empty down low. The Raptors have gotten five of seven shots to fall. And he's coming off a breakout season. Friend Van Vliet is now at times a number one scoring option. His improvement year to year has been something to watch. Lowry against Van Vliet. Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. This is an explosive move by Bam Adebayo. For a big, he does a great job of generating points off drives. From going undrafted to signing an $85 million contract, Van Vliet has not taken his foot off the gas, Smitty. Tremendous work at the VA. Always focused. He has range now, and you love watching him use his body and skill to convert at the rim. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. The Heat have gone 6 of 9 and finding their rhythm now. Outside Butler. And he drops it in from the low post. The veteran point guard Kyle Lowry is terrific at setting the table for uncovered teammates. Van Vliet with it. Now guarded by Butler. They get the rebound. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. 
great work to clear some space around the rim and set himself up for that putback. Yes, sir. That was a huge follow. Van Vliet against Lowry. And the call Double will be against foul. Fred Van Vliet. Fred Van Vliet. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Robinson passes to Adebayo. Clock at six. Tipped away. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Van Vliet. And always fun to see which players have been the deadliest from three-point range. And you look at Tucker. He is downright lethal from distance. Ranking first in the league in three-point percentage. He's a shooter that defenses 100% have to go out and guard. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And it's Van Vliet off the drive. And a nice finish on the layup. Van Vliet's got nine. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Here's Butler. He's been an important part of this offense. Averaging around 22 points a game. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. And it's Toronto with a rebound. And there's the call. It's on Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. The Raptors with a lead. Here's Van Vliet. Can't get it to go. His second miss in six tries. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. And here's Lowry. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Down low. Here's Tucker. Blocked! And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Hero, he's checked in for Tucker. Tyler Hero. Here's Hero. Yes, and it's Adebayo picking up the assist. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Here's Van Vliet. And counted. Now five for seven. Love the strength on that drive by Fred Van Vliet. He is tough and he's aggressive. The Heat have gone eight for 14 from the floor. That's tipped. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. Here comes Toronto on the push. Barnes, it's good. He has six. And their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. And the call Not will be against foul. Fred Van Vliet. Fred Van That's Vliet. foul number two for him. He was too foul. aggressive. That's already his second, second foul. foul. We haven't even gotten out of the Heat first quarter. Struess, he's checked in for Miami. Out of bio with it. Six points for him. Got a piece of it. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. And a fast break now for the Raptors. Nice start for him. Taking his first shot. I like how Fred Van Lee stays patient. Eyes up, finds the breakdown in the defense. Knocked loose. And now the Raptors on the break. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now it's a 10-point Toronto lead. They're getting run over. That's three straight hoops on the break. Pass to Struess. Lowry outside. Hero against Ananobi. They need this. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got four rebounds now. Here's Siakam. That shot, no good. And Miami will go the other way with it. This game coming after a loss versus the Raptors. 
it was almost like they looked stunned when the game slipped through their fingers. Being on the wrong end of an upset leads to a quiet ride home. We try not to dwell on losses like that, but hey, you can't help it. Hopefully, they'll learn something from that defeat. And early on, they've been on a tear, just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace, they made shots. This is why they're way out in front. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. But over and back. It's been a comedy of errors for them so far. They just can't hold on to the ball here in the first half. And some changes here for the Raptors. Achua's checked in for Barnes. Mikhailu comes in for Ananobi. And it's Flynn in for Fred Van Vliet. And he banks in the layup. Give him eight. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Miami's gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Inside. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Some shooters get tunnel vision, but Tyler, keeping his eyes up and his options open, delivers a great pass. Flynn. And the Raptors getting another bucket right there. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Siakam left side. Going inside. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. And a fast break now for the Raptors. Achua with the dunk. They're really in control on both ends of the floor right now. Forcing turnovers and finding easy points while the other guys struggle to keep up. Stolen. It's two on one. Moving it up. Here's Achua. Achua with the dunk. And that nice steal was able to get their break going in a hurry. You know what? We see this time and time again. Turnovers lead to a break and then points at the other end. And Miami has possession. The Raptors making their last shot to the middle to stop the run and it's Butler with the jam what an athlete Jimmy Butler is getting off the ground fast to slam it down Ooh, he's locked in trains his fifth shot in his many attempts and taking a look at this first half they've just shown better shot selection what they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like they keep cashing in when they have the room to run Pass to Martin. Up and in on the layup. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. From the line, Achua. It's good on the putback. Achua's got six. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. 143 left in the first quarter here. Who poked away? Another fast break for Toronto. The Raptors are running. Siakam gets the bucket. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. When you're casual with the ball, it can come back to bite you. Yeah, B.A., playing loose can help you and hurt you. They really need to tighten it up. Yep, count it. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up, now looks like it's going in. And now the Raptors on the break. And that one's good. Flynn. Flynn's got his third bucket of the night. And at any level of basketball, the turnover differential can make all the difference. To the right side. Back to Hero. 50 seconds left in the first. Now here's Achua. Six points for him. There's the drive. Achua with the dunk. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. And Miami has possession. Now Hero. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against the Raptors in Toronto. Pass to Butler. To halt the run. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. What's impressive about Jimmy is how much of a one-man army 
he can be. He makes the effort to be everywhere on the floor and does all he can to help his team. the line for two. First one falls for him. The Raptors making a switch here. Boucher's checked in. Butler hits them both. On the take. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh? Miami has gone only one of four from three-point land. The ball's knocked loose. And stolen by Boucher. Two on the clock. That shot is off. And the buzzer sounds to end the first. And we got a blowout underway here. It's the Raptors just dominating this one. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. And some good young players for the Miami Heat, including Tyler Hero, who's played a vital role since his rookie season. Uh, I had a great opportunity from really day one. You know, coaches and my teammates all trust me. Um, it's just the beginning, just continue to get better. It's a long season and a long road ahead. And some felt that Hero plateaued a bit in year two, Grant. Yeah, well, still plenty of time for him to grow, though, B.A., and there's reason for optimism. In Miami, you've got to be locked in. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And for the Raptors, this has been a game they've wanted to have. Well, what I love is the tremendous belief in their bench. They were looking for points, and their reserves delivered. This is where you credit the guys in the front office for going out and getting you the pieces you need. Setting the floor for the Heat. They've got Tyler Hero, and it's Tucker in at the four. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Here's Martin. Shoots a fadeaway. And stolen by Boucher. Here comes Toronto on the push. Achua with the dunk. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. The team loves what Boucher is starting to give them offensively. But the reason they signed him in the first place, rim protection. 6'11 with a 7'4 wingspan and quick hops. Here's Hero. The Raptors making their last shot. Driving in. Pass to Struess. Jacks up a three. He can't hit that time. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Achua can't hit. And coming out of the G League, it's amazing how quickly Boucher has earned major minutes. B.A., it's been a surprise to everyone except for the team scouting department. High ceiling additions yeah. like Boucher can help make or break a roster. His progress has been exciting to watch. And it's the Raptors with the ball, following the bucket by the Heat. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. To the inside. Oh, and a beautiful yeah. feed leads to a monster jam. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. And it's in there. For Miami, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. 
right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. And he gets the bucket. That's how you set the table, and everybody gets to eat. Shot from the wing. The shot by Mikhail Luke, no good. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Let's it go from deep. And the three-pointer goes. Martin's got five now. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Here's Flynn, and he trains the quick shot. And is it any wonder they're ahead in this game? His perfect night from the field has been the catalyst. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Grant, you won Rookie of the Year. You feel that a rookie wall is a real thing this time of the season? I think it is, B.A. Now, I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but 30 games versus 82 games is a serious difference. The physicality of the NBA can also wear down a rookie. change here and here's Lowry from the arc hits a three-pointer that's what you want to do work the ball to one of your premier scorers like Kyle Lowry and let him make a play all right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, the Heat culture is all about work, and this roster is littered with overachievers. Jimmy Butler said, quote, the Miami Heat look for those diamonds in the rough. Players that are hungry, players that have some dog in them and play for one another. These guys do what it takes to be in the league for a while, right? Boy, they compete, right, Allie? Thanks for that. Now here's Boucher. Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Struess's shot is off. For Toronto, they've gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Here's Van Vliet. They grabbed their own miss. And finished off by Boucher. And B.A., he takes his rebounding so seriously. This dude is such a grinder. His teammates appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. Now here's Trent. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. For three, Robinson. That's his third basket and five shots. Solid work. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Now here's Van Vliet. The D's right on him. Here's Ananobi. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Relentless energy from OG. Defense can't counter his explosiveness on the boards. Right side, Robinson. Adebayo passes to Robinson. Yes, and it's Adebayo picking up the assist. Robinson's got 11 points. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. And the basket by Van Vliet. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. The Heat have gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. To the paint. Here's Struess. Got it. Two for five now. That's good planning, and that's good execution. And that's a great look. The Raptors shooting 71%. Their offense has looked unstoppable all game long. Here's Van Vliet. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got his fifth rebound in this one. And here's Lowry from the arc. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Van Vliet. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He's 
got 17. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. For three, Lowry. And again, Miami with a triple. That pull-up jumper, a staple for the elite point guards. Count Lowry and their company. Van Vliet misses. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 17-6 run. Struess's shot is off. Toronto shooting a solid 50% throughout the second. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. That's his first personal foul. All right, Brad, if you could be GM for one rebuilding team right now, which would it be? Oh, wow. That's tough. I mean, you got the Grizzlies with Morant. You got the Pels with Zion. You got the Mavs with Doncic. You know, I'll probably stick with the Pelicans and Zion Williamson. I think he has a lot to offer and has the ability to dominate in this league. And Grant, you played for a Suns team that was influential with their training staff's approach. How has sports medicine changed from the early days? You know, B.A., it has changed immensely. Nowadays, every team incorporates that foundation that that Suns medical staff had back in the day. It's all about prevention. It's about recovery. It's the big picture approach to making sure players can not only get through season after season, but have longevity throughout their careers. A Kyle capable Lowry. score from all three levels. But what's really unique about Kyle Lowry is his physicality near the rim. He bullies defenders. Two shots. Max on the first. That free throw good from Lowry. And something Lowry's always had, great strength. You know what? He helps set a physical tone for the team. That's what you expect from your seven-footer, not your six-footer. Both free throws good from Lowry. Well, it's hard to talk about Lowry without mentioning his fantastic defense. Quick and physical with ball handlers. Tough to back down in the post and just brings the effort on every play. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Robinson can't hit. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And Siakam with the slam. A nifty ball handler. Siakam has plenty of go-to options at the offensive end. Here's Lowry. The Raptors making their last shot. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. And now the Raptors on the break. And Trent the bucket on the assist by Barnes. Trent's got five points now in the quarter. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. His third shot from downtown this quarter. Four for the game. Now here's Van Vliet. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Miami. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Outside Robinson. Pass to Tucker. To the inside. Lowry, good. Lowry's got 13. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Barnes, no good. Well, Miami shooting the ball at 60%, an excellent average. Stolen by Siakam. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Heat. And the Raptors call time here. It may be a player's league, but the coaches obviously play a big part as well. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason.
Here's Lowry. He's got 13. Knocked away. Here we go, all alone. Here's Van Vliet. That one's good for two. Van Vliet's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. They've been unable to get guys back up court. Here's Lowry. And count it. Now five for seven. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. Here's Ananobi. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Ananobi's gone one for three on the night. And so the ball out of bounds. Ananobi touched it last. And the Heat making a change here. Martin's checked in. Here's Butler. And Ananobi pulls it down. Toronto has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Takes a three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Robinson on the wing. Knocks down the long J. Robinson's got 17 points. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Difficult situation for Miami. Here's Lowry. He's got 15. Pass to Robinson. It's out of bio. High post. Shot clock at six. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Robinson can't hit. Barnes passes to Siakam. A minute 50 left in the first half of this game. Count that one. He's eight for ten from the field now. Outside Robinson to the middle. And out of bio with the basket on the assist from Robinson. Give him eight. Bam is a pro at absorbing contact, especially when he's locked in on scoring. And Toronto calls time here. They're coming off that win against the Heat. And they got into a consistent offensive flow, largely because the defense they were facing was poor. Yeah, it seemed like they got every shot they wanted. I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. with some changes. Achua's checked in for Barnes. Mikhailu comes in for Trent. And it's Flynn in for Fred Van Vliet. Toronto has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Gets a hand on it. Great positioning on the putback. Achua's got 12 points in the game. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. Jimmy yes, Butler. it's good. The physical abilities of Jimmy Butler. Wow. Using his power and speed to make plays inside. There's the triple. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. And here's Hero. His scoring ability is impressive. Averaging 20 a game. Here's Martin. And again, Miami with a triple. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. And it's good for two. Their interior D continues to look shaky. 
Not a good matchup for them right now. Robinson on the wing. Again, the Heat score. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Miami shooting great. 62% from the field and continuing to get it done. Got a piece of it. Ananobi on the wing. 13 points in the win against Miami. And it's Miami with a rebound. Hero with it. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. It's the Raptors opening up a huge gap. We've got more in store for you right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Fred Van Fleet has been the story in this one. He had 21 points, five assists, and three rebounds. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, they built this lead in large part because of the sharpshooters off the bench. The subs played a superb game. Get it? Sub, superb, the ball thrown at night. I mean, they played like starters. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? The shooting percentage they allow was through the roof. The coach should absolutely be ripping into the roof. We need to take some pride on the other end. Just lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Man, one guy's been getting it done, Fred Van Vliet. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Barnes is down low with Siakam. Gary Trent is out there with Malachi Flynn. And it's Ananobi in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. He's been locked in all night, and he's taking good shots. And it's the Heat with the ball. Following the bucket by the Raptors. Count that one. Lowry. Lowry's got 17 points. When you think of Kyle Lowry, his scoring comes to mind. He's on a roll now. Jimmy Butler, one of the great two-way wings we have. Some call him the most complete wing. Hard to argue with the defense he plays. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Flynn. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Here's Lowry. Poke loose. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. Down low. Here's Ananobi. And that one is hammered home. Right on his feet. Quick off the floor and showing creativity. OG Ananobi. Wow. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Your good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Now here's Lowry. Adebayo. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got assist number seven tonight. And with Butler in his defense, he is a menace. Brings intensity and energy every game. Also add the versatility with who he can guard. Always a threat to come up with a steal. He's an elite defender. Lowry, good. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. The Raptors have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Trent. No good there. And it's Miami the other way. Lowry outside. He takes it in. Count that one. He's 8 for 10 from the field now. 
they couldn't have asked for a better start to this half offensively. Four straight and counting. The drive by Van Vliet. Yep, that one's good. Van Vliet's got 23. Shooting at a high clip, he's found ways to get quality looks. The Heat have gone 4-4 four four in this third quarter. Perfect so far. Up top, Lowry. Guarded by Van Vliet. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Miami will keep it. He almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Inside. Here's Adebayo. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Excellent D there from Siakam. Here's Van Vliet. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Van Vliet's got four points this quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. And here's Lowry from the arc. He buries it from three. Over the years, Kyle Lowry has become a volume three-point shooter. You see why with these results. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. The Heat have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. For three, Robinson. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got assist number eight here already in the game. Here's Siakam. Second chance shot. And all around the rim that time before dropping. Barnes has got eight points. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Pass to Butler. To the paint. Here's Tucker. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Six points for him. No, oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Van Vliet. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got a rebound number five here tonight. Look at the effort from Pascal Siakam on the offensive glass. Keeping that play alive and finishing it. And Tucker gets it to go. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. Butler with a steal. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Trent. For Toronto, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Lowry. Struess, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. Van Vliet against Lowry. And the shot goes. Van Vliet's got six in the quarter. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. And he lobs it up to the rim. And finished off by Adebayo. Wonderful play. With that long wingspan and huge hands, Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. And the basket by Trent. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they've executed. Barnes goes in. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Raptors. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. Their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure hustle. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Willing passers, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Here's Lowry. 24 points for him. Outside Robinson. Van Vliet against Lowry. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. With the drive. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Van Vliet's got 29 points. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Here's Lowry. Again, the Heat score. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Here's Trent. Drops in the layup for two. Trent's got six in the quarter. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. 
And Lowry gets doubled. Nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. Here's Trent. The shot that time not on target. And Miami will go the other way with it. Up top, Lowry. Guarded by Van Vliet. Here's Struess. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Ten points for him. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Miami's gone three or four from outside in the second half. Time, out, time, out. time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. here for the Raptors. Achuas checked in for Barnes. Mikhailu comes in for Trent. And it's Flynn in for Van Vliet. Knocked loose. All alone. Offensive rebound. Martin. Achua with some nice D. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. And he gets it to go. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Here's Hero. Yep, that one goes. Hero's got six. We see it almost nightly. Hero is underrated in terms of his ability to score inside. The Heat shooting has been unreal. 64% from the floor. Hero's got four points this quarter. A focused individual. Hero's not going to let a little contact affect his shot. That one goes. Count it. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Pass to Martin. Fires for three. And the Heat. Another three. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Martin's gone three for three beyond the arc. Takes it inside. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Oh, man. Exploding to the rim. Yep, makes the simple play. Now Hero. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Tyler Hero hammering it down. Playing with a lot of confidence. Pass to Makai Luke. Banked it in off the glass. He's got seven. Coach is loving the ball movement. Miami has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. Hero with it. And it's Boucher picking him up. And stolen by Boucher. Here's Flynn. Counted by Adebayo. Achua with the dunk. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Ooh, poked away. Here comes Toronto on the push. Yep, that one goes. 
Achua's got four points this quarter. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. The explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. And it's the Heat with the ball. Toronto foul. Ananobi, he's checked in for yes, Toronto. And first Miami first also ball. making a switch. Butler's down. checked in. Heat substitution. Here's Butler. Give him eight points now. Adebayo passes to Butler, and it's Jimmy Butler with the jam. Not many bigs have Bam Adebayo's vision. Just another reason this coaching staff trusts him with the ball. You have to be impressed by Bam Adebayo's playmaking. B.A., he has great vision for a big man, and he helps this team as another initiator. This is all about effort on the glass, and they haven't had it. <laughs> to the middle. Here's Adebayo, and Adebayo slams it in. And we've seen a leak from Adebayo recently, scoring now at a steady clip. And Coach Steve Kerr of the Warriors, he said Adebayo reminds him of Draymond Green. For the reason why, B.A., they both are elite ball handlers at the four position. They both anchored the defense on their team. Bam, Adebayo's definitely on his way. We've got 123 left in the third quarter. Hero, the pass to Butler. That shot missing. Tries again. It's deflected. Over to the left wing. Back to Achua. Over Butler. Again, the Raptors. Good for two more. He's hot this quarter. Getting the shots he wants. And he's delivering. Pass to Adebayo. Hero outside. Got a piece of it. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Often viewed as just a shooter, Tyler Hero can score, though, in a variety of ways, which makes him very difficult to defend. Hero, two shots. And he drops the first. Talk about being reliable at the line. At Kentucky, Tyler Hero, he hit 93% of his free throws his freshman year. The Raptors making a switch here. Siakam's checked in. And Miami also making a switch. Deadman's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Toronto shooting 67% for the game. Just outstanding. Adenobi passes to Siakam. And the shot goes in. Siakam's gotten four this quarter. Strong finish. Siakam with great balance. Able to complete the play through contact. Good decision making. Scopes the situation. Puts the pass right on the mark. Here's Toronto with the ball. Here's Flynn. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Siakam's got 24 points. The coaches have to love where Pascal Siakam gets in a scoring groove. He's capable of making a big impact on the scoreboard. Achua into the lane. Here's the second effort. And Siakam with the lay-in. He's got 26. They're holding a big advantage in second chance points. Knocked away. Butler, the open look. And there's another one for the Heat. You don't always have to force your way to the rim. That time, Jimmy takes what the defense allows. One second left. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. Fred Van Vliet has been on display for Toronto. A tremendous offensive output. He's got 29 tonight. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. 
And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. On the floor for Miami starting the fourth quarter. They've got Dwayne Dedman and it's Akpala in at the four spot. Pass to Dedman. Out of bounds. Okay. It'll be Toronto's ball. Toronto ball. And Toronto has possession. Here's Johnson. Offensive rebound. And the basket by Mikhailu. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. He's shooting very well. 66% for the game and looking really strong. Guy's shot is good. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. Here's Johnson. Not going to go that time. And the Heat going the other way now. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Pass to Martin. Here's Akpala. Tipped away. And here's the fast break. Here's Johnson. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Johnson's got his first points in this one. Action on the break has fueled them tonight. They're winning the transition battle. It's such an advantage when you can get out and run and get a good look before the defense can set up. Here's Martin. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. quarter of play about a minute and a half off the clock and again the heat missing the Raptors have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth two for four now Manga count the basket that's where they'd like all their shots to come from the heat have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth pass to guy and Smitty a lot goes into team success but ownership, or the governors if you prefer, Kyle as important as anything. Three. They say the best write big checks and then get out of the way. You think it's that simple? It's not, B.A. You can write a big check, but sometimes we've seen it doesn't work. I think it comes down to continuity, culture, passion, and everybody from ownership down to the players. If they're on the same page, usually you have success. Raptors foul. David Johnson. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Pass to Martin. Here's Vincent, covered by Johnson. Back to Martin. Knocks it loose. I really like how he settled down after a careless first half. Taking much better care of the basketball. I really like how they're controlling the pace in the open court. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Martin. Here's Guy. And here come the Raptors again. Toronto in transition. And Siakam with the slam. <laughs> Crashes the glass with authority, then puts it back strong. Next level, man. This guy's just going out and making a play. 
Here's Vincent, covered by Johnson. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Johnson. Tucker's checked in for Miami. P.J. Tucker. And so here is Miami, and there's the drive. Count it for Vincent. Yes, smart choice. I really like that play. For Toronto, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. It's Johnson with a drive. Lays it up and banks it in. Johnson's got four points now in the quarter. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. The Heat have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Here's Akpala, covered by Johnson. Pass to Watanabe. The 11-footer. Johnson. Great positioning on the putback. They have hit the boards hard this half. Those second-chance points are mounting up. Here's Vincent. And, Smitty, we're seeing so many players raising their voices for social justice, more so than in years past. Why do you think that is? Well, salute to all these players. Not only these players, we all must do our part. And I am thankful and love watching these young players in this era take social justice and put it in the forefront. Here's Johnson. The Heat making their last shot. The shot, no good. Here's Akpala to the inside. Deadman, count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed pass. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Timeout called, the Raptors. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on and get out for your north side crew. Making a switch here. Boucher's checked in. And it's the Raptors with the ball. Johnson inside. It's rebounded by Deadman. The Heat have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Here's Vincent. Out to the right wing. And the top pick in this year's draft, Kay Cunningham. Grant, I heard some insiders compare you to him. You like those comparisons? Well, he's 6'8 with skill, sees the floor, I think approaches the game the right way. Maybe not the leaper I was, but tremendously talented, and I'm so eager to see how he develops. He's got a bright future in front of him. Pass to Guy. Just five on the clock. Down low. Can't hit the turnaround jumper for Toronto. They've gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Here's Johnson. Uses the glass on the layup. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Here's Guy. And it's Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got four rebounds in the game. Toronto calls timeout. 
Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Johnson with a drive. Count it. Here's Vincent. All right, here's a different question for you, partner. I'll be taking notes. Did you have a favorite city for food in the NBA? Well, write this down, B.A. So my mom is from New Orleans, so I know New Orleans very well. And so New Orleans was my favorite city, no question. The food there, oh, I'm getting full just thinking about it. <laughs> and so here is Miami. The Raptors making their last shot to the paint. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first. It goes on Chris Boucher. Third team foul. At the line for the Heat, Umer Yurtseven. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Here's Johnson. Kept alive. Here's Boucher. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. The Heat have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. And he jams it home with authority. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. The Raptors shooting an efficient 64%. Excellent. The shot by Johnson, no good. I'm not sure how he's going to explain that shot later. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. On the break. And the Raptors get it back. Here's Mikhailuk. No good. A bit long that time. The Heat have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Here's Vincent. Past a guy. Deadman inside. Johnson on him. Deadman, good. Assistant. Way to attack the interior. Deadman really understands what the team needs from him. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Here's Vincent, and he drives in. And there's the rejection. Here's Deadman. To the middle. And he slams it in one-handed. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. From deep, Johnson. Unable to get that one. Now the Heat take it the other way. To the inside. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Here's Johnson. 
Now here's Boucher. Tight defense on him. And he stays with it. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Miami with the ball. A big stretch here going. 10-2. to Pass to Vincent. Inside. Oh, did you see the finish? And he dunks it down. A monster finish with authority. And he hangs on the rim for a little extra spice. Here's Bunga. There's the three. And the ball out of play. The Heat will have it. Achua's checked in for Bunga. Raptors! Precious Achua! And the Heat shooting continues to impress. 65% from the field. Here's Guy. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Chris Boucher. Man, the defender really went after him. At the line for the Heat, Kyle Guy taking two shots. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Toronto's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Shot from the top of the key. Another shot. Rebound by the Heat. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Here's Vincent. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Achua's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Bunga. And again, another missed shot. The Heat shooting just a phenomenal clip. 59% here in the fourth. Here's Watanabe. Shot is up. That's short off the rim. Here's Akpala. And down it goes. Jam that one home. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. That, that was a good call. The defense wasn't established. So Miami ends up going with a new group. Achua finds Van Vliet. Up and over to Lowry. And there's Van Vliet on the assist by Achua. Van Vliet's got 10 points in just the second half. Lowry, the pass to Hero. Back to Lowry. The three is up. And the Heat, another three. He's hitting everything from deep. Just flat out torching this defense. Ananobi with it. Picked up by Tucker. Ananobi can't get it to go. Miami has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Lowry, the pass to Hero. With some arc. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The wrinkle that Hero's been adding to his game. Beating people off the dribble. for Miami. Tyler Hero. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. A big group substitution here for Miami. Deadman's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Akpala comes in for Tucker. Guy's checked in for Butler. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. And so he hits both. 
A minute 29 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Raptors. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. That'll do it for this one. They've earned their 27th victory of the year tonight. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Pascal Siakam. He was just everywhere for them on both ends, really. Just showing a lot of aggressiveness and intensity. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Guys, shot is good. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. And the Raptors call time here. They're leading by 15. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. New balance player of the game, Kyle Lowry. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow, so impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. Goes up off the inbound and misses it off the right side of the rim. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Pass to Deadman from about 16. And again, it's Miami converting. <laughs> One positive takeaway, at least they're finally showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Here's Guy to the middle. Benson can't hit. Eighteen feet out, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And the Raptors lead by 15. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. So no problem for Toronto as they get the win. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Pascal, these days you are called upon to carry this team. Does that bring added pressure? This is a game that I love, and, and, and I just want to have fun playing the game. And I think, you know, I got to just be myself. Like, don't get lost in, in everything going on. Be yourself. Play basketball. Have fun. And, you know, um, I'm just happy to be able to go out there and play hard. Guys, he wants the pressure. Thanks, Basco. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.